Whenever you book a trip to a Disney cruise ship, you certainly anticipate you'll have a vacation to never forget. But when passengers on this Disney Magic Cruise saw something odd out in the ocean, it made their voyage something they will never ever forget. This incredible story began aboard the Royal Caribbean International's luxury cruiser Oasis of the Seas. Along with its sisters Allure of the Seas and Harmony of the Seas, Oasis is one of the three largest passenger ships in the world. In fact, in 2009, Oasis held at 1,187 feet long, the title of world's largest passenger ship, and it was able to carry up to 6,360 passengers. To put that into perspective, the vessel is five times larger than the RMS Titanic and weighs 100,000 tons, slightly more than Nimitz-class aircraft carriers, the largest warships in operation today. Overall, Oasis took some $1.5 billion and three years to build in Turku, Finland, while it began offering cruises in December 2009. But these are not your regular cruises. After all, the immense, theme park-like ship is divided into seven sections, called neighborhoods, each offering unique attractions. In reality, the luxury cruise ship offer every sort of service and activity imaginable, including 25 dining locations, a zip line, an ice skating rink, rock climbing walls, a basketball court, a water park, a movie theater, Broadway musicals, spas, and boutique shopping. Both Oasis and Allure also boast freshwater pools that are up to 18 feet deep. The ship is stationed off in Port Everglades in southern Florida, not far from the city of Fort Lauderdale, and it takes weekly voyages before reaching a stop along the way at a select few Caribbean destinations. On January 3, 2015, the Oasis was set to embark on another fun-filled family vacation at sea. Naturally, the cruise was full of its normal activities during the voyage, and its last port of call was Mexico's Cozumel Isle. Here, everything changed. Just after the ship left port on January 7, one early riser walked alone on one of the decks and fell overboard. The Oasis security cameras apparently caught on video a 22-year-old man walking alone on deck 5 before he disappeared from view at 6 a.m. Strangely, no alert or man-overboard alarm was immediately sounded, nor did the ship stop to conduct a man-overboard maneuver. In fact, no one seemed to even notice the man's sudden disappearance. The ship continued along its course as if nothing had happened. Stranded some eight miles away from port, the young traveler was unaccompanied in the vast sea, Apparently due to death, you must have watched desperately as the bright lights of the cruise ship steamed out of sight into the dark winter morning. Luckily, another cruise ship operating beyond Florida was on its way to Cozumel and was following the same cruise line. That's because, like cars, commercial ships have committed traffic patterns that they must obey when navigating the ocean and its seas. Therefore, at 7 a.m., the Disney Cruise Line's Disney Magic happened to cross exactly the spot where the man who fell overboard was still treading water. Even more amazingly, an alert passenger on board the ship spotted him. Without question, the magic at 964-foot liner with a passenger capacity of 2,700 people was the man's only hope of survival. Indeed, Alfonso Rodriguez Loiza, captain of the Port of Cozumel, told Spanish news site Milenio, that the Disney cruise alert to authorities was the first known report that he had even gone missing. The man was afterward identified as an American named Frank Jade. Fortunately for Jade, he was spotted by the sharp ears and eyes of Scott Campbell, a tourist vacationing with his family on board Magic. Campbell was out on the balcony of his cabin when he heard a weird sound. I heard what I thought to be a really strange-sounding bird and saw a little speck in the water. Campbell told ABC News, then soon recognized that what he was hearing and seeing was in fact a young man screaming help me at the top of his lungs. Campbell's wife Stephanie without delay contacted the crew via the ship's phone. Moments later, the ship's public address system announced Mr. Mob, starboard side, code for man overboard on the right side of the ship. Elsewhere, passenger David Hearn heard the announcement and knew what the code meant so he instantaneously went to the ship's top deck. By the time he got there, 
The crew members had already lowered a lifeboat to rescue the man, still here and managed to capture the rest of the rescue on video. It was pretty unreal at first. It's not something you expect when you go on a nice cruise. Here and recollected about the rescue. And while Dee and other passengers initially thought the man had fallen from their ship, they soon found out that he was actually from the oasis of the seas. Amazingly, the 22-year-old had plunged into the water without hitting the side of the ship or its hanging lifeboats or getting injured from the impact with the water directly. As Alfonso Rodriguez told reporters, this man was reborn. Most people that experience that kind of fall break their neck. It's like hitting concrete. Just to be on the safe side, Jade was taken to a hospital on Cozumel, where he thankfully received a good bill of health. Later, he rode a flight back to the United States, no doubt grateful to the Campbell family and crew aboard Magic. As Scott Sanders, who operates a blog about the Disney Cruise Line, said, it's pretty darn fortunate that they were sailing in the vicinity. However, it could have easily all gone very badly for Jade, and the incident raising serious concerns over ship safety measures. Undeniably, maritime lawyer Jim Walker argued that safety railings and security cameras are not enough to guarantee passenger safety. Cruise ships, he told, should be prepared with automatic detection systems that establish a perimeter around the given vessel and alert crew any time a passenger falls overboard. While implementing such technology may seem hypervigilant, considering the fact that only 243 cases of people falling overboard have been recorded since 1995, it is a technology that's now available, and it can help save lives. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family.